I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying the start of summer. Uh, for today's video, I wanted to discuss how you can connect to Copilot Studio agents using a headless uh, design pattern or using a headless orchestration. Uh, I think this is really uh, important for some of the complex uh, use cases where you might have a platform uh, where you have already created agents and now you want to connect to Copilot Studio agents um, to create a multi-agent multi architecture. Or if you have an existing app and you want to just leverage uh, Copilot Studio within that app, um, this is how you are going to do it. Um, you will call Copilot Studio uh, agents using a head, uh, headless, using a headless orchestration, basically. So there are two ways of how you can do it. Um, the first way is um, using uh, direct line APIs. I think most of you are familiar uh, on how how to do this because uh, when you set up a custom canvas within Copilot Studio, we make use of direct line APIs. So that's the first way. Uh, the second uh, design pattern is using uh, Agent SDK. So this is a new uh, framework that Microsoft um, has published. Uh, Agent R SDK allows you to create um, your agents uh, from ground up. Basically, it provides all the libraries that you might need in order to authenticate your agent or you, if you want to connect to uh, Copilot Studio agent or if you want to use Semantic Kernel for uh, orchestration, all that can be done very easily using um, Agent SDK. It provides all the guardrails that you might need. So for today's uh, video, what I'm going to do is I'll show you uh, both the examples. So how to set up or how to connect to your Copilot Studio uh, agent using a, uh, Agent SDK. And as well as uh, I'll show you how to connect using direct line uh, APIs. Uh, so the scenario we are trying to create here is you want to first authenticate the user using Entra so that we know who's asking the question. Once the user is authenticated, we then uh, do a silent single sign-on and connect to the Copilot Studio agent. So let me first um, show you uh, where you can find Agent SDK. So on GitHub, this is the main uh, uh, repo for Microsoft. You can see there are different uh, samples here. If you're looking to um, looking for samples, there are uh, .NET as well as uh, Node samples that you can use. So if you click on samples and basic, you'll find a bunch of um, uh, samples here that you can leverage to get started with uh, Agent SDK. Uh, but for today's video, what I have done is I have actually created a separate repo. So here on my uh, GitHub, this is a public repo. Uh, you can directly download this or clone it on your local machine. Um, and then what you can do is you can go to this main.js file. So this uh, example or this app would allow you uh, to connect to your Copilot Studio agent using um, Agent SDK. Um, and we are using uh, Node.js uh, uh, framework uh, or Agent SDK framework to do this. So in this case, all you have to do is come here and click on this main.js and just update these four uh, settings. Uh, so you have the environment ID. So this is the environment ID where your agent is um, created. You want the agent identifier. Um, you will need the tenant ID and the client ID. So these two things can come from your app registration in Azure. And these two things come from your Copilot Studio agent. So just to show you, if you open the um, Copilot Studio agent and go to settings, so click on settings and under advanced metadata, you will see your environment ID here and you will see the schema name. So this is these are the two things you would need that you need to plug in here and then you need to set up a 
client app registration uh, within your Azure portal. So here is an example. So here you'll come here. This is the client ID and then this is the tenant ID. So you need these two. Also, when you set up the app registration, um, you need to give permission to Power Platform API. So here, um, the way you do this is you click on add permissions, go to APIs my organization uses, just type Power Platform, and you should see the Power Platform API. So once you do that, uh, select this use delegated permissions and look for Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio and you want to select this one here. So Copilot Studio, um, this one here, copilotstudio.copilots.invoke. So this is the one you need to select and then add the permission. In my case, I already have it and then give uh, 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 admin consent uh, or grant admin consent uh, so that your app can access it. So the way this works is uh, we are going to use, uh, so in this application, um, you can see uh, we are using Microsoft um, authentication library. So this is where we authenticate the user uh, and then we extract the token for that user and then pass it uh, to the Power Platform API so that uh, we uh, can request or invoke Copilot Studio on behalf of that user. So that's the uh, setup uh, that we have for this application. So again, just the way to set this up is just copy this these files to a folder or clone this, and then just change the uh, main.js file and update these four things. Uh, the way to test this is basically you would go to the folder uh, where you have downloaded these files and then uh, just, so in my case, this is the folder name I have and you'll just say npm run dev and it should spin up the host in, it, you'll connect to uh, 5173 port. So here, if I now go and open this, uh, you can see I can sign in. So it's going to ask for my Microsoft credentials. I'm going to sign in. And once you're signed in, uh, it's connected to my agent. So my, this agent is connected to Power Platform documentation site. So I can ask what is Power Apps. And you can see there's a response from the agent. So uh, remember, like this is the HTML that is here. So index.html. In my case, I've not done any customization or I didn't add any styling. But you can control how you want to render this on the uh, HTML page. So this is something you can completely cu customize. But the idea for today's uh, video is to show you how this works. Uh, so in this case, you can see my agent was able to respond back. Um, and then uh, you can use this to surface within your application. Or if you already have another agent, you can just consume the uh, response from your Copilot Studio agent. So this is how you would set up using Agent SDK. Uh, like I said, I have this repo. I'll put this in description. Uh, I have uh, documented all the steps that you need. So you can just read through um, these steps uh, and then you should be able to uh, use this or test it on your local machine. So this is the first approach where we are using Agent SDK. Uh, the same way uh, the second approach you could use is using Copilot Studio Direct Line. So again, this is a repo that I have on my GitHub. Um, you can download this HTML file. Um, and just to show you what this does, um, so here is the uh, HTML file. Again, the logic is the same. So we first authenticate the user using uh, Microsoft Authentication Library. 
And once user is authenticated, we then call um, the direct line with that user's uh, uh, user ID from Entra. So user ID and username from Entra is passed so that your Copilot Studio can uh, agent can uh, authenticate the user who's asking the question. Um, so to show you how this looks like, um, let me just log in here. So if I go to downloads, so open this in your terminal uh, and you can do one sec. Our server about five thousand. So you can see I have um, run this uh, started the server on port five thousand. So now again, if I open this, so instead of local os five thousand, I can go uh, to five thousand. And you can see this time it's automatically signing me in because my browser already had the uh, token because I just signed in. So you can see it's able to um, authenticate me. This is my actual username in Entra because I'm using a test account and I can start asking questions here. So I can ask uh, who am I? So you can see it's gonna be returning all my information. So my username, my email. So you can see this is my username. This is my email uh, for this account. So this is how you set this up. And uh, again, it's using the same design. So it's authenticating the user and then using direct line uh, to talk to your Copilot Studio agent. Um, so this is the um, a repo where you'll find this example, the HTML file. Uh, again, I have documented all these steps if you want to test. Uh, just keep in mind, this is only for demo because I'm using uh, direct line secret. So, uh, so you can use um, the secret in production. So you you will have to request the token. But if you want to test out the approach, uh, you can use this file to do that. So that, that was it. Uh, I'm going to put links for both of these repos uh, in description. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.